nations. O King of the nations, you alone can fulfill the desires Binding all together, come and, and save the creatures you fashioned from the dust of the A reading from the book of Psalms, number 93. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunder of mighty waters, more majestic than the waves of the sea, majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness benefits this house, O Lord, forevermore. Thanks be to God. Two poems by Jim Cotter. O come, O come, Thou calling child, the creatures, those both tame and wild, the weak and powerful coax along and change their trembling into song. Rejoice, rejoice, the vulnerable shall make us all inseparable. O come, O come, thou cornerstone, and hold the tensions of your own. Thou keystone of community, the bearer of humanity, rejoice, rejoice with arms and face, the crucified shall all embrace. Let us pray. O King of nations, your reign spreads through all the lands. You defend the cause of the poor and plead for the wretched of the earth. Come and fashion us into a commonwealth of free and responsible creatures that all may discover the depth of meaning and the grace of belonging. In the name of him we know as King of Kings, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Oh, come to our nations, find in one the hearts of all mankind. Bid thou our sad divisions cease, and be thyself our king. 